Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I am doing, you know, my famous drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spinneroo, but I'm doing a 12 by 12 canvas. However, I have come up with some new concoctions in my pigments. These are all color art primary element pigments. And I think every one of them is a mixture. You've mixed two different ones to get two different pigments together. Correct. The first one, first one <laughs> is Spanish moss and olive vine. Jasper red and poppy red. Autumn skies, northern lights, and peacock feather. Three of them in that one. This is sunflower and pixie dust. Fairy tale, oh no, this is a fairy tale blue Arteza and pearl sapphire blue by Arteza. And this is jasmine and pink parasol. How did pigment. that sneak in there? <laughs> you were wrong. I was wrong. That's okay. Yep. Blame me. Mm-hmm. So anyways, I already did my canvas. And that's my color place by Walmart. And it's the white with the satin. It's just interior house paint. It's just dumped right on my canvas. Out of my little containers here. Um, you don't torch this. If you do, do it very fast and not a lot because you're going to get a skin. Okay, so we're going to start with our drizzle here with these new colors and see what happens. And by the way, um, there is a link to Color Art where you can get a 20% discount off anything you purchase on the site. And it's a, we have a direct link in the description box and I will have a pop-up in the upper right-hand corner of the screen that will also, also uh, take you to their site. So they have tons of really beautiful colors and Kathy has mixed some for this uh, for this particular painting and I can't wait to see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm because some of these I I've had them and I'm you know just sitting around so I thought oh I'm just gonna go up there. I mixed like around 15 different colors so that'll hold me just for a couple days. But I mix paints every day. Every single day I'm up here mixing paints. That's my pastime. <laughs> that is true, you are. It keeps me busy, keeps me thinking. Um, I don't think I ever sleep a whole night without thinking of concoctions in my head. That's just an artist thing, I, I believe that your mind just goes, goes, goes all the time. At least mine does. It's kind of annoying sometimes because I would like to get some rest, but <laughs> then I keep thinking, oh my God, I should get up. And I look at the clock and it's probably only like 1.30 in the morning. It's like, no, better not get up yet. This is my Jasper Red that I made and my Poppy Red. So this is a brand new one for me. Should be kind of pretty, hopefully. We it shall like see. It's sort of a coppery red to me. Yeah, I it's mean, not. It's not red, red. Right, so. Which is fine. No, that's fine. This is the autumn skies, the northern lights, and the peacock feather. This is pretty too. Now I've never included the northern lights in here, so this is going to be a new one for me as well. But I just go over to my table and and I look at the different pigment colors. And I just go from there. I just think, okay, well, what is this going to look like? Well, you don't know until you try it. And if you don't like it, don't do it again. <laughs> well, it's always fun to experiment. And, it is. And uh, kind of see what, what comes of it. It is. And... It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Okay, this is my pixie dust and my sunflower. And I like this one. I know this is pretty. Yeah, that nice bright color should show up nicely. Yeah. You always want to have something bright in it. Sometimes I can make them kind of dark. And then, if, especially if you put a black cell activator on. So you want to have some uh, lighter shades in it. Starting to get a mishmash fill. Yes, it's exactly what you're looking for. My mishmash. 
I keep saying I got to get a shirt. Okay, this one is the Fairy Tale Blue Arteza with the pearl sapphire it snuck in there. Phil, did you put that in there? <laughs> did you go over on the table and you not tell me? You don't let me anywhere near <laughs> your stuff. No, because you know what? You would pick it up. It's like when you do dishes, you never put it back in the right place, and then I can't find the stuff. Well, that's true. So, yeah, that's why I don't let you up here in the paints. I figure if there's room in a drawer, that's where something goes. I would just love to go in your drawers and just change every single drawer. That would be so fun. You would have such a fit because you're so organized with everything. He has this box that he had at work and it's his, what reminder. do you call it? It's my reminder box. It's his reminder box. How many years have you had this box? I've had the box now 33 years. He still has it. He still uses it. <laughs> it's an old beat up gray metal box. It's like know. an index it, well, it box. It has an index for every day of the month. And, um, you know, everything com is computerized nowadays that you, you, you put a, you know, upcoming appointment in or whatever and it pops up on your computer screen. Well, I'm old fashioned. I just love the manual <laughs> way of doing it. And it's worked like a charm for over 30 years for me. So I never miss a, an appointment or a reminder of anything because every morning I get up and look what's in that day's part of the box and away you go go from there all right that was the jasmine and the pink parasol the last one now okay. we're gonna swipe the drizzle is done okay we're gonna swipe with what Phil? black <laughs> black cell activator Tell them about the black cell activator because you get lots of questions about that the black cell activator is made out of floatrol and uh, my lamp black by Amsterdam. I only, even if I don't have black, I always use the Amsterdam paints with the Floetrol. I That's my preference. Um, that's what I, I like to choose the most. And so. simply to make a colored cell activator or cell activator with other colors, you just simply use a different colored paint. Correct. Nothing, nothing else is different. But I always use the Amsterdam, no matter what color activator I use it's always Amsterdam well you you know it works and you're comfortable with it I'm sure other things probably work too uh, but that's, they do. that's what you use so. they do I mean you can use any paint for a cell activator it doesn't matter you don't have to use what I use I mean that's just me like I said I like that a lot now you notice I'm doing this a little different this time Phil no, I didn't notice that, no. You didn't? <laughs> no. I'm starting from the middle and going out. Okay, well, that, that's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you know. We're going to see the difference because I'm bringing some bigger cells into that middle area. Oh, I see. Okay. That's, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if it works. Wow, there's some beautiful colors coming up. Yeah, there is. Very nice. Beautiful colors. Which is good. That's what we're looking for. Exactly. Phil well, and I went for a walk today already. It's beautiful here, but if you don't go walking whew, by 8 o'clock, it is pretty hot. I think it's only going to be, though, 105 today, so it feels a little cooler. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, normally you, you use, uh, you know, 9, 10, 11 uh, colors in uh, your drizzles. Correct. Um, this one you're using six different combinations. So really there's, uh, since one has three colors, 13 colors, but uh, consolidated into six different drizzle colors. Correct. So, should be interesting to see. I know, I can't wait. How colorful this is I think it's going to be super colorful I know because usually I have psh, oh my gosh 11 12 different colors 
I think. Well, that's what I said. Nine, ten, eleven colors. Oh, or because so. I combine them. Right. Yeah. So you're still oh, yeah. you okay. have thirteen colors. You're just combined into six. Yeah. I, cups. It just it just kind of looks like I'm missing something because I always have so many cups that I use, right. and now I only have like six, and it's like, oh my, what am I missing? But really, I'm not really missing too much, I guess. So this is what you want. Tons of cells of different colors. Mm -hmm. And you got some different sizes, so that should result in some pretty neat things on the uh, final painting. Hopefully. We shall see. We shall see, Phil. Yeah. Ooh, there's some pretty colors coming up. Pretty, pretty. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Phil and I are having a good day so far. So far, so good. So long as this turns out, <laughs> it'll even be a better day for me. So I'm excited. Well, it's always uh, nice when you do a project and it, it turns out you feel you feel good about it and helps make your day. If it doesn't turn out, that's not a big deal. It's just paint. But then you go, I just wasted all that time. <laughs> oh my God. Well, it's not always a waste. Sometimes you learn something. So the next time you don't have another failure. failure. Everybody has failures at some time. So, today Phil and I are not doing too much. Are you going in the pool today, Phil? I might get ambitious and do uh, some yard work. I don't know. Oh, it's 105. Well, yeah, you like the heat. Yeah, the heat doesn't bother me. No, I go out there for two minutes and I'm panting like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> the dog looks at me like, hey, what's going on, Mom? Yeah, I'm panting just like her, for gosh sakes. It's like, oh. I go out, I run back in. Phil goes, you want to go to the mailbox? Uh, no. No, you can go. And it's only like around the corner. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like actually hibernated. I don't even think the neighbors think Phil has a wife in the winter, in the summer here. So I'm not too much on the heat. We're getting there, Phil. We are well, getting there. We couldn't have moved to a much hotter location than in Arizona. <laughs> How ridiculous was uh, that? And you know, it's so funny because everybody says, oh yeah, it's a dry heat. It's not a dry heat, it's a hot heat. When you can feel your shoes through, or the heat through your shoes, oh, that first year that we were here, that, oh my gosh, I think I, I don't think my face is, was ever white. It was red the whole time we lived here the first year. It's like, oh my. Well, we get through a few few months here and when you get to uh, October, November, December, and January, it's, beautiful it's absolutely then. beautiful. Yeah, it's really pretty then. That's when I love to look back at Illinois, especially like in December, January, and February, and I see all that snow and I just think, Oh, I never want to see that again. And, you know, people will say to Phil and I, oh, have you been up to Flagstaff? Oh, you got to go up there and see the snow. I'm thinking, no, I don't. I have seen enough snow for the rest of my life. Well, for those of you who aren't familiar with Arizona and the United States, uh, we live in the south central part, which is by Phoenix, and that, that is a desert type area. But you go two hours north, up to a town or a city called Flagstaff, it's six to seven thousand feet above sea level, and so it's there's pines there. They get snow. They have skiing. It's uh, it is beautiful. It's very can get very cold up there with a lot of snow. Even the Grand Canyon uh, area is uh, very cold and and can get a lot of snow in the winter. And I actually close parts of it down because of that. So. It's a, it's a state that has uh, two really diverse environments 
it within a, you know, a couple hours drive. Yeah, it was really strange because when we were driving here, we drove um, from Illinois to Tennessee and then from Tennessee to here. And it's amazing how all of a sudden you will come across pines. Then all of a sudden it stops and it's like all cacti. Scrubs and cacti. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird, it was the weirdest thing because I said to Phil, what happened to the pines? Well, we were out of, out of that and into all of the cactus. And some of the cactus, oh my God, they're beautiful. And they're so big. Yeah. Well, what uh, Phoenix area where we live is in what uh, they call the valley. We're in the west part of the valley. And that's uh, one reason it's, it's so hot. It's a desert and it's a valley. So, you know, a lot of the uh, hot air simply just accumulates in the valley. And uh, because we are not that high above sea level, it's, it gets... Pretty warm. Now, lucky for us, we have never been in a dust storm yet. But I heard they are not very nice because you can't, I guess you can't see the road or anything if you're out on the road. And I don't ever want to be in one of those dust storms because it's like, uh uh. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, these dust storms, they, the, the term for them is haboob, which is a strange name, <laughs> haboob. And it's a, just a humongous dust storm, desert sort of dust storm, like they would get in the Middle East and so forth. But every once in a while, they get them here and, and they've bypassed us the last few years. So thank God, because if you get hit by one, everything is just covered in dust. You know, thick dust all over the house, the pool, the cars, everything. Okay, well. Okay, anyways. We're done with the dust we told, uh, storm. So, that story. Okay. so now we're going to do the wrecking. Right. The drizzle is done. The swipe is done. And now Kathy's going to take her little stick. What do whack. I want to do here? I don't know. Look at that cool pattern that that made. Yeah, when it comes out, hopefully it look, kind of looks like a little flower, maybe. A lot of times it does, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see, all right. Ha! Ah. I don't know. I don't think I want to do any more. I don't want it too patterny. That's, that's up to you. Hmm. Unless you want to do a couple little bit of short ones. Yeah, but what? why not? Why not, Phil? That's, uh, that's something you haven't done, is just a couple little short ones. See what that looks like. Yeah. It's only paint. Okay. All right, so, stand back. And enjoy the ride, Phil. Here we here go. Here we go. Look at that paint flying off. <laughs> Fly me to the moon. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That is cool. I'm excited. Look at those oh. wreck lines, how beautiful they expanded oh. and looked flowery. Oh my gosh. Get an overall view of the oh. painting here. Okay. And oh, I even hate to go the opposite not, way. I don't think you have to spin this again. Uh, I can't. No. I, I can't. I don't think it's necessary because... This is... Stunning! Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm loving these colors. I'm telling you, I'm loving these colors. Yeah, I am gonna have a one good day. Let me tell you, I'm excited. So check out these color art pigments. I'll tell you, they they're amazing. They're they're, they're amazing. The the colors and the brilliance and the brightness they bring to the. The uh, painting is, is really cool. Once these are 
uh, dried. Dried. And you put and them in the sun. Oh, they're absolutely amazing. I love this. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Please, please subscribe to our channel. Um, we are getting so many new subscribers. We're having so much fun. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. You guys all make our day. When you comment to me and leave me the kindest, kindest comments, I'm overwhelmed with joy. And um, please, you know, feel free to ask me anything. Go to my Etsy shop, which is Kathleen Limited, K-A-T-H-L-E-E-N-L-T-D, one word, and shop. I mean, Phil, you know, if he has time, put some stuff in there almost every day. Um, I could, but I, I, that's his job. So um, I'm just the paint mixer person here. So anyways, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and um, we love all of you. Bye.